Investigators have identified the body found in a storage container in the Bronx as an East Harlem woman who was reported missing earlier this week. Today, New York's Jessica Cunnington spoke exclusively with the victim's best friend as she's grieving. We just, we were trying to find her and we didn't want to find her like this. Luz Droz just found out her best friend, Nisa Walcott, who's been missing since last week, was found dead Friday on a sidewalk in the Bronx. She was a beautiful person. She was a hard worker. Um, she was a single mother. She worked hard for everything. She was an entrepreneur and she didn't deserve this. She says the 35 year old worked for ACS, loved life, and that leaving her 15 year old son is not like her. Oh my God. Police say Walcott's decomposing body was found inside a plastic storage bin out. on University Avenue in Highbridge, a massive crime scene set up into the night. That's a one police car stop all the traffic. And the police were coming rushing to the spot and one police officer was pointing to the spot. A source telling News 4, a man looking through items on top of the plastic bin spotted a leg. Then 911 was called. How come somebody in this broad daylight drag a body and dump it over here. You know, it's hard times. I don't know what the hell is happening. I don't know what happened, so we don't know the details. The crime scene unit combing through the evidence all day and removing her body as her friends Friday night mourned in East Harlem, where Walcott lived with her teenage son. She was a beautiful spirit, and she'll always be with us. And a heartbreaking and whirlwind of a day on Friday for Nisa Walcott's friends who spent all day printing out more missing posters because they still had hope that they would find her. But now they're trying to wrap their head around not only her death, but the way that she was found. Police are investigating her death right now as the medical examiner's office will determine Nisa Walcott's cause of death. In East Harlem, I'm Jessica Cunnington. Weekend today in New York.